All right, I guess if you like the Sam Smith song, you're probably going to like this. Actually, that might not even be true because I've had, you know, people who know music better than I do have tried to defend the Sam Smith song to me uh, and explain to me that it's it is actually a pretty good song is constructed well, to which I can't really argue. But yeah, it's just not my cup of tea. And and again, the vocals are still the vocals. Um, And this song is obviously going for a very similar feel as they were shooting for with the Sam Smith song. Um, but ironically, I think the people who liked the Sam Smith, who sort of defended it saying that, you know, structurally it it is a, a good solid piece of music. They're probably not going to go for this one because again, this is kind of a a whole young style and, um, you know, I, I don't know if, if, if it's got melody the way the other one did this one, this is really kind of, this is pretty experimental, I think, um, I, I like that it's sort of picked up in the middle, and obviously I like that there were some 007 riffs in there that you could hear. Um, but, yeah, and, and I and I guess you could argue that, well, this is obviously going to be a film with a big emotional punch, so you're not going to have a, a peppy, upbeat song. Um, but I was kind of hoping for something that was a little more uplifting than what we got with Sam Smith. I mean, I sort of feel like you know, Adele went for very dramatic and, and emotional. Sam Smith just really poured it on and gave us a very syrupy, saccharine sort of a song, which, you know, again, didn't grab me. And this one seems to be right in line with that. Um, but again, it might very well make sense in the context of the film. I mean, you don't know how it's going to work until you see it in the titles. When you see Kleinman's titles and the, the song is playing, that's when you'll sort of know if it's going to grab you or not. Uh, so, you know, I'm kind of just, you know, floundering and stuttering because, you know, the first time you hear a song, you never know how you feel about it. It always takes a little while before it grows on you. Uh, so I guess it remains to be seen. My initial reaction is, ugh, it's it's not, eh, it's not for me. Uh, you know, when I... A James Bond song to me is the one that's got, you know, pep and you can sort of tap your toes to it a little bit and get a little excited about it. Um, this is sort of the other extreme. Uh, so we'll see. You know, it's, it's weird because the Bond songs of late, I guess I'm really thinking about this one and the Sam Smith song. You know, I mean, we've had we've had Bondish sounding songs, right? And then we've had, uh, you know, upbeat you know, really, really kind of toe tapping music. And then sometimes you had like, you know, love songs. You have sort of love ballads, Octopus for Your Eyes Only, um, The Spider Love Me. I mean, these were, were songs that were more about the romance of James Bond. Um, we're, we're kind of entering into an era of the heartbreak of James Bond. I mean, this is obviously about betrayal and heartbreak. Um, James Bond never used to get heartbroken, you know? He, he never used to... Um, it, it was kind of unheard of. He was the heartbreaker. Now it's much. Now it's the other way around. Um, and I guess that's sort of the takeaway from this, is that this is, you know, this is... You know, Bond used to go for the, the women who would possess the winged dove qualities. Well, now James Bond is he himself the winged dove, the injured party. Uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess we can talk about that. But um, yeah, so it's so with that in mind, it's kind of not quite what I was looking for. But again, it might be exactly what the film requires. So, you know, again, I can't judge. Uh, uh, so there you go. There's, there's four minutes of your life that you're never going to get back. Just me rambling about. You know, so, I mean, every, you know, music is always subjective. It's hard to know how to feel about it. Um, so with that in mind, you know, I, I, it's, uh, you know, did you like it? Let me know in the comments, you know, um, I am curious to know what other people are thinking about this. Um, and like I said, when, when we see it on the big screen, that's when we'll know if this really works. Uh, I'll leave it at that. It's your good buddy, head of section. 
I'll see you here next time. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for letting me indulge myself and not make any sense. Uh, but come back to being James Bond. As you can see, we're doing a Die Another Day is coming up. And the, the World is Not Enough is almost done, and you'll have that pretty soon. Uh, and I'm doing an interview tonight, which will be ready tomorrow. So uh, keep listening and keep tuning in to Being James Bond. Thank you again. I'll talk to you soon. James Bond.